Hello, and welcome to my STEM fair project. In this recording, I will be talking about the packet tracer you see in front of you, which was made to show off a new technique we learned called ACL or Access Control List. Now, to begin with, uh, in our original setup, we had this section right here. All the highlighted was what we had originally. We added on this up here and over here in order to show the true extent of ACL. Now, everything you see here, all these numbers are IP addresses and these are the cable connections. This cable is connected on a fast ethernet or FA01 and the PC, these are PCs, switches, routers, and so on. Now, first, let's start off with what Access Control List is. It is pretty much a more extensive firewall that you would add on for further protection. Now, to get into ACL, it is a very peculiar process. Um, uh, below, and also these down here, Permit and Deny, we were, our original goal was to deny this. PC and permit this PC to communicate with these PC. Now we have it set up so none of these can talk, but this one can talk to any of those. Now to start off with, ACL. There are two kinds of ACL. Standard ACL, which is anything on the access control list from 1 to 99 is considered a standard ACL, while and in a standard ACL, it denies and permits source IP addresses. That That's it. However, on extended ACL, which is from 100 to 199, it can deny and permit source IP addresses, deny and permit destination IP addresses, and deny and permit ports. But these are all advanced techniques which are not used in this current packet tracer. Now, the first thing we did in this network was we set up IP routes, which allow them to communicate across networks very easily without any sort of rip or anything of the sort. It just allows us to communicate from here to here using these up here. And the way IP route works is you would type in IP route, um, the IP address you're trying to start with, so IP um, to 100, and then you would head to its, you would add on its subnet, and then to the router it's going to. As you see up here, these are the commands for IP boot. Now for the access list, the way you would do that is, so when you're into the CLI commit configuration down here, you would type n conf t access dash list and then you would put whichever access list you would want up from 1 to 99 is what is standard and 100 to 199 is extended and then you would put deny or permit and then you could either do uh, deny you could do host 192.168 uh, host IP address or the other thing you could do is just type in the IP address and then do it the wildcard subnet which is of a verse subnet which is 000 or 205 or so on and so forth depending on what you're trying to do but what we did is so we did access control list 99 deny host uh, whoopsie. Deny host 192.168. We denied the two network, which is uh, this one over here, except for this one up here. We denied these two PCs from communicating with this network, and we allowed this PC to communicate with this network up here. And, and to prove that, what we would do is go desktop, command prompt, ping 192.168.1.100. And it's going to fail at first because it has to initialize the network. But after that, request time. It gives us desk, nose, and host unreachable, meaning our access control list worked. 
and communication is not possible, meaning our access control list was a success.